Okay, I'm gonna try to make this quick. Uh, it's in the morning and i um, gonna hammer through these uh, complex values so that you guys have at least 23 to 30 uh, uh, for today. Um, so we've got, um, oh, it's kind of got a blue tint to it. Uh, you know what, I'm not gonna bother with those settings. It'll be okay. Um, so we got i to the 20th power. So if you remember, when you raise i to a power, you want to see what your remainder is. Um, when you divide by four, because I runs in cycles of four. And so if you remember, those cycles work like this. You actually do want to start with zero. Okay, and then I to the third is negative I. So it just works like that. If you had a remainder of four, you've done something wrong because you can't. If it's divisible by four, there will be no remainder of four. So that's why I put the zero at the top. It basically means that it goes into evenly. And so um, if this goes into evenly, that means that we are we have a remainder of zero. These are the only remainders that you could actually have if you divided these guys by four. Um, these are your only possibilities. So I like to just start at zero, go to three, and then outline this. And I would actually just memorize it. It's just, it's quicker. But you know, you can, as long as you know those two, I mean, these three are kind of by default. Um, the third will kind of come naturally if you just break them up. Uh, apart okay so this guy is actually going to be one okay there's really no work to show for that uh, this one right here we've got um, two is also being raised to the third power and then 16 will be multiplied by three so that's going to be 48 and then we're going to multiply by negative five and then i to the seventh okay um, so let's go ahead and make that uh, that's an eight this is a negative five so that's going to be negative 40. And then when we add those all together, we will get i to the 55. Okay. So, excuse me. With that, I will take 4 going into 55. 1. Now remember, all I want is a remainder. Okay, it goes in there 3 times. That's 12. Looks like we got a remainder of 3. So remainder of 3 on my cycle would be 1. I'm sorry, 0, 1, 2, 3. So my answer is negative i. So negative 40 times negative i would give me a positive 40i. And that's my final answer. All right, these are like combining like terms. So these guys are one like, these guys are the other. And so all I gotta do now is rewrite this so that I distribute the negative sign to both of the terms. This is usually the only time that people make mistakes. So I'm gonna add these two guys, negative nine, plus 14i, and that's it. All right, same process here, except we've got an extra additive addition here of um, distribution. So that would be 18i minus 12i squared, don't forget to square it, um, then plus negative eight minus seven i. So these guys are all ready to add, except this one. We're gonna go ahead and change the sign to negative 12 to a positive 12, so 18i plus 12 minus eight okay and so we will usually put the real part first and then the imaginary part so um, that would be positive four and then this would be a positive 11 i okay that's the final answer um this one this is going to be some foiling all right so negative seven negative 56 negative 14 i the i just sticks along for the ride uh same thing here you got negative 16 i then we're gonna get a minus four i squared. And remember, i squared is a sign change. So that's really plus four. All right, so then plus four plus this guy is a negative 52. And then this is a minus 30 i, and there's nothing you can do. Remember, adding subtracting i, the powers of i are not gonna change. You're just gonna add or subtract the coefficients. All right, so when you square it, I know it's gonna be tempting to write that. Um, but that's not how binomials work. If you remember, we have to foil it. So these guys will have a middle term that will be condensed. So don't do that. That's a common algebra mistake. So we got 16, then we got 12i, then we got another 12i, and then we got um, plus 9i squared. So you did get those two guys, but don't forget these guys are going to show up. Okay, uh, these are not conjugates, so these guys did not cancel each other out. And so this will turn into a negative nine. So 16 plus negative nine is seven. 
and then you got plus 24i. <clears throat> okay. Oh, I hope that was on the screen. That is really blue. Uh, it's not going to match what this is looking like, so that's strange. Anyways, um, yeah, it's just the lighting. That doesn't help. I don't know, whatever. Um, so uh, when you have a monomial with an I in the denominator, all you got to do is multiply that by I. You don't actually have to multiply it by um, um, 2I, okay? And we do want to multiply by the conjugate of just the I part, okay? So if we make that a negative I, what will happen is the 2 will become positive. Okay, so um, let's take a look here. We're going to get a positive 3i minus 10i squared. Okay, and then you're going to get negative 2i squared. Okay, because we're just multiplying straight across. The negative i goes here for that. This guy here for that. Um, that's going to equal, and I'm going to save that space. That's going to equal a positive 10. Now I'm going to switch the order for these. I'm gonna switch the order for these because we usually put the real part first and the imaginary part second. It's not wrong though if it's the other way, it's just kind of a habit. Okay, so then that guy, we switched those two around, he became positive. This guy is also a sign change because of the I squared, so he become positive. Two does, goes into 10 evenly, but it doesn't go into three evenly, so we will leave it right there. All right, and then finally the last one, um, I'm gonna go ahead, this is pretty much the toughest one on the quiz. We'll multiply by the conjugate, okay, just like you would for the radicals. All right, and just, you know, foil as carefully as possible and just combine your like terms. Plenty, plenty of room for mistakes, but you just gotta be careful. Uh, 24i, oh, I put 124i, 24i um, minus 2i uh, plus 4i squared all over. I like to just do these one at a time. Just do the whole string. Uh, this is going to be a 4, but remember the middle terms cancel out. So if you just want to put minus 16i squared, that's okay. Because you did the conjugate on purpose so that middle terms like this would cancel out. Okay? So um, that becomes a plus 16. So that's all over 20. I'm getting all my morning emails now at 7 o'clock. All right. So we're going to combine the like terms. This guy is negative 4. So negative 4 plus 12 is 8. Um, and then these guys will add up to negative 26i all over 20. And you can divide everything by 2. So 10, 4, and 13. All right, and that is our final answer.